To join the front end to the back end, we need to set up an environment in our server. In this example, we use Node.js. Before we write the code, we need to set up the environment. We need app.js to facilitate the execution of JavaScript code. Conn.js to keep the configuration. The library in a folder. And the file to keep the information. Inside the route folder, we have files index and users. Inside the public folder, we keep all the HTML file that we want to display on the website. The node modules folder is a directory in Node.js projects that stores third-party libraries and dependencies. They are packages or modules that a Node.js project relies on. Assuming you have established an HTML page to look up information. When I enter a student ID, it will retrieve the information and display on the page. It shows nothing if it does not exist. You need to create the file, place it inside public folder. Let's name it B8C1A and the dedicated link to access the page. Now, look at how to create the input table. First line to include the student ID input. Next line with a function to submit. Establish three lines to display the class, English and Maths. The results will show on the web page. Set the function so that when you click the button, it captures the student ID. To exchange data with the server, use the jQuery AJAX method. Set the URL and the input of the student ID. The data, student ID, will send to the index file. The index file will verify the data inside the SQL table. The function with data x will capture the data labeled with data y from index file and assign them to put in the HTML page. <music> Lastly, inside the index file, label the URL SQL table and the column of student ID correctly.